Today we will be reviewing the Razer Crate 2013 edition. First off, I want to start by saying this is the first mouse I've reviewed with the 4G infrared sensor from Razer, and I have been very impressed by it. Not only can this mouse track between 100 dpi and 6400 dpi, but it can do so at a very high level. Even though I'm only showing a couple screenshots here, I found this mouse could track over 4.5 meters a second on every DPI I tested it on. Now let's move on to the drivers. This uses Razer Synapse 2.0. These drivers are actually very cool as you can change the DPI instantly. All you have to do is either move the cursor up or down on the bar and it'll automatically change as if you were changing your sensitivity in Windows. You can also choose between 125 hertz, 500, and 1000. The bad part about these drivers is that it's an online only driver. Which means if you're at a place with an unstable internet connection, the drivers become completely useless. And as far as I can tell, there are no legacy drivers for this mouse, or any of the 2013 edition mice. Now the first thing you're going to notice about this mouse is that it's very small. It's about the same size as the Razer Abyssus. The biggest problem with this is that its shape more closely resembles the Zowie AM without side buttons. After about a week of using this mouse, my hand began to cramp, constantly. The scroll wheel does feel a little bit loose, but the notches are fairly well defined. The mouse weighs about 81 grams, though I hear there's a weight inside that you can take out. Mouse 1 and 2 feel solid, and take about 43 grams of pressure to actuate. Overall, this mouse feels like a very well-built 3-button mouse, with a tracking rate that exceeds 4 meters a second, and no prediction. Also, I should mention the liftoff distance is very low on this mouse. As always, I will leave you with a list of specs, and please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.